right, guys. So I wanted to get on here real quick. I had seen earlier somebody posted on Facebook a driver. Uh, he's out in Wyoming, and they have the uh, interstates closed out there. Uh, this time of year, as a rule of thumb for myself personally, uh, about the end of September on, I've made it a point not to go out to the uh, northwest or out into Wyoming or Idaho or any of them type of places out that way. Uh, the snow can come at any time, and when it does, it can definitely shut you down, and you can get stuck out there like this guy is. Uh, hopefully he's okay. Hopefully he's not stuck there very long. Hopefully he's got everything in his van or, or he's at least uh, somewhere where he can get inside or get to some food and water and shelter and all of those things. Um, so yeah, hopefully hopefully he's okay. Uh, so Sam, if you're watching it, man, I hope everything's all right with you. There's, uh, there's quite a few carriers that don't even like to send their drivers out in that direction this time of year. So if your carrier is willing to send you out there, please be sure that you're checking the uh, weather, checking the uh, forecast and the radar and uh, asking drivers and whatnot, trying to pay attention to all these things. As I said, I've experienced it out there. I've not been stuck with the roads closed, but I have been out there and it wasn't even currently snowing. It had snowed really bad out there one year and uh, I was driving out there, but the wind gusts, the wind alone blows the snow around out there like it's currently snowing so the roads they can they might go and salt them and pay and, and, and uh you know plow them or whatever but that snow is drifting so badly that the roads get covered right away and you might be semi-okay if you're loaded you know it's not near as bad but when we're empty and that's the experience i had i was in an empty van and it was a rear wheel drive and I almost lost it. I mean, I, I did, I almost lost it. I was climbing a little bit of an incline and having to give it a little bit of an ex of acceleration to get up and ass end got loose. And <laughs> to be honest, I was looking which side did I want to try and crash on. That's what I thought. I thought I was toast. I thought I was crashing. I didn't think there was gonna, I didn't think I was gonna be able to recover it because of the way, how loose it got and how quickly. Uh, but I was able to recover it. I didn't wreck. And after that, though, it's just been, it just doesn't make no sense. It doesn't make no sense what you're risking to go out that way this time of year. It's not worth it. Uh, it's okay to tell your carrier that you're not okay with going out there this time of year. Uh, just tell your dispatch, hey, you know, I'm not willing to go out that way this time of year. I just don't want to do it. I mean, I've also been out in uh, Colorado going out that way to, to uh, through Colorado and it was fine and then in the middle of the night as I'm making the last few miles just out of nowhere bam I mean, it was snowing so bad I couldn't tell if I was going uphill downhill could barely if it wasn't for there being brush you know tall grass and whatnot on the side of the road I would have never known where the side of the road was I mean I'm driving like 20 mile an hour so it took me forever to get that last so many miles done just an extreme risk going out there and people drivers need to be aware of how bad and treacherous they can get out that way in the blink of an eye uh, so some of you that have never been out there or haven't experienced it you know you might go out there and not know so hopefully this reaches somebody that uh, not have any doesn't have any experience going out there and uh, this gives them the heads up because, yeah, it's, it can be very bad. And they do. They shut the highways out down out there, and you're just stuck where you are for, it, it could be a few days. You know, it might, may just be overnight, but it could definitely be days. Uh, my dad, he drives semi, and when he was younger, he got stuck out there for five days when they shut the interstates down. So be aware of that. Keep some things in your van, you know, during the winter. As far as food, things to keep you warm, uh, water, all of those things.
because this snow can, you know, it can get bad in a heartbeat and it can do a lot of bad things, so.